You don't need to learn how to make a crazy node tree in DaVinci Resolve or understand color science perfectly. All you need to know to make a perfect teal and orange look it's one simple secret. And once you master it, you won't believe it, you were not using this before. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Before we do jump into this one, again, if you're new here, my name is Luca, I'm a filmmaker based in Bali, Indonesia. And if you wanna subscribe, if you like any of these tutorials, if you find any of these tips interesting, please, you actually do make a difference to support this channel. So leave a like below and subscribe and let's jump right into this video. Before we get started, I do wanna make a little note that I am not a professional colorist. I don't color grade movies. All I do is color grade my own projects and I'm all self-taught. I learned all of these things on YouTube, just like you guys. So I'm not claiming to be this great guru or whatever so please do take all of this advice with a little bit of a that and um, yeah I do think these advices these tips these tutorials do work very well for one-man bands or travel filmmakers just like myself when I started learning DaVinci Resolve I was actually very scared and skeptical about the whole color grading node structure techniques because all I could find on YouTube was this professional colorists that teach you how to color grade a movie with a million of nodes and I was just like whoa I actually don't know if I want to do that if I'm able to do that it seems like there is so much to learn but then I actually realized that that is not really how you should color grade YouTube videos or a short film or a client project especially on the level that we are at unless you're shooting a professional commercial or movies where you're probably just gonna hire a colorist anyways. So this is more for the travel one man band guy. And um, honestly, the 0.1% of people will see the difference anyways. So yeah, that's just my thought on color grading on DaVinci. Now, let's dive into this video. And for this specific video, I do recommend edit a log footage just because you're gonna have a lot more range of moving the colors around and if you can also edit a 10-bit piece of footage instead of 8-bit that will also make so much more difference just because you have just so much more freedom of moving all the colors around for this example we're going to use three different scenes and three different lighting just to show you guys how you can literally copy and paste the specific grade the specific techniques that we're using into one other piece of footage tweaks just a few things and you got this beautiful teal and orange look all right we got our shot here and this is honestly possibly one of my favorite cultural shot i've ever taken in bali as some of you might know if you follow me on instagram or if you're watching these videos for a while i actually do love documenting the local culture especially here in bali where i call myself at home and last week there was the biggest celebration the biggest ceremony here on the island it's called galungan which is pretty much their christmas and it happens twice a year every six months on a full moon and it is always such a beautiful time of the year especially when it happens in dry season because you got clear skies you got beautiful light everyone's happy it's not raining and the local people just show up with this beautiful dressing these beautiful ceremonies and it's just literally one of my favorite times of the year to be in bali and to be capturing this specific shot with this beautiful warm light this lady this girl was just standing in this hallway she agreed to take a, a few photos and a video she just looked perfect so i'm literally in love with this shot and we're gonna start with this one because it is technically the perfect shot for a teal and orange look because she is very warm light around the head the sun is shining behind her you have a beautiful headlight and i had a wall behind me which bounced the light on her face so she's perfectly lit and then on the side of her you have this darker walls which is going to make a perfect example to add some seal on it so let's dive into our color page right away the way i like to color grade and create my node structure is by having a primary node then a cst color space transform where you're going to transform our footage to rec 79 from s log 3 from this example then we have a color node where i like to add and just tweaks all the hues and saturation of all the colors within the image then we're going to add one more node and make that a parallel node on the top we have teal on the bottom we have skin tones once we have these parallel nodes after that we have a look node where I usually add my LUT a little bit toned down but for this example I want you guys to be able to do this completely for free so we're going to use a film look included with DaVinci Resolve 
And the last one, here's where I add my glow and halation. I do want to mention that I do sell my LUT. If you guys want one click color grading, the link is down below. Check it out, they're in sale, discount. So the first thing we did is adding our Rec 709 translation. So now our footage looked perfect in Rec 709. The second thing we're gonna do is hop into our parallel nodes. We got teal and we got skin tones. First, we're hopping into the teal and then we're going to our color wheels and we implement a bit of teal, bluish, whatever kind of vibe you wanna go to. It all depends from you if you wanna go more towards the teal or more towards the blue. I like it a bit in the middle around aqua teal. So I'm gonna move down the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, all of them, and create this kind of bluish teal tint over the whole image. And right now your image looks pretty much like trash, correct? But this is just the first step. Second step, we're gonna go down into the parallel node called skin tones. Here, what we're gonna do is either create a mask around the subject and then track it. Depends if there's movement or not. In this shot, there is almost no movement, so there's no need to track the mask. Then we're gonna select with the selection tool just to make sure that only the skin tones are affected by this specific skin tone. And what this does, since it's a parallel node, pretty much what's on the bottom, subtract what's on the top. So pretty much our skin tones are not gonna get affected by all of the teal that we implemented at the top. Now, what we're gonna do here is either go into our log wheels or go into our primary color wheels and just pretty much play around until the skin tones looks natural and all the orange in the image looks nice and natural. Now that this is done, you're kind of starting to see this teal and orange look, but what we're gonna do is hop into our primaries. And here, we're gonna subtract a little bit of blues and teal and add some reds in pretty much all of our color wheels. Midtones, highlights, shadows, everywhere. Usually you really need a tiny bit of change into the blue, usually minus 0.01, like literally just hold your mouse into it and just like go like tick. And it should be enough to just remove that weird teal blue film look over the whole image. And pretty much what you wanna do here is understand and try to balance things out, but without removing the teal that we previously added. So once you're happy with that, we're also gonna add an S curve just to add more contrast, depending on how you actually shot your footage. Now, once this is done, we're gonna hop into the color node. And here, I usually adjust the hue and saturation of all colors. For this specific shot, I just wanna take away a little bit of oranges because I don't like how punchy they are, honestly. And then take the blues and the teal and kind of mix them together. And you can do this in different ways. I like to use the color warper just because it's a very visual way of dragging color around. You can do this with the color curves as well. I just enjoy more the color warper. Now hopping into our film look. What we're gonna do here is adding one of the most famous film looks, which is the Kodak 2383 from DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna go into our LUTs, we're gonna scroll down until we see the folder film looks. Scroll down to the bottom, 2383, the 60, this is usually the one I, I like to use because it's uh, the most, I guess the nicest one. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. Once you drag it, it's gonna look absolutely horrible so make sure you go into your opacity and just bring that down to 0 0.2 0 0.3 usually that does the trick another way of doing this you can transform whatever you already color graded into a filmic log or a red ari log and then add a full power lot but i just find that that's just like an extra step that you don't want to take because it i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me so i just add this one lot 0 0.2, 0 0.3, depending on the footage, and it's pretty much done. And now, as you can see, this added a little bit of a flare to our footage. It just looks better. Everything just looks a bit nicer. So what we miss right now, what we do miss right now, it's a bit of a film look. Take off that digital look from our video, and I've made a whole video about this, so I don't wanna stress this out. All I do, hide a halation effect onto the last node, play around with it, and now our footage looks incredible.
just to show you guys that this works with absolutely any footage i picked other two shots that are shot in completely different lighting it doesn't matter what shot it is i'm just gonna take the whole thing copy and paste it and as you can see there is a little bit of things that you have to play around with especially the masking you have to adjust your selection tool for the skin tones so you definitely have to play around with you know depends what white balance you had you know balance everything out with primaries and with the skin tones but aside from that literally copy paste fix a little bit of things and you're done and look on this last shot for example it's literally a copy and paste and i would be happy to use this in like a short film or documentary or whatever obviously it's always good to copy paste and tweak things around but this is just an example just to show you guys how easy it is once you understand this one specific simple secret of having a parallel node with teal and skin tone teal and orange it just changes the way you color grade that's all for this one guys thank you so much for sticking around hope you learned something new if you did so leave a comment leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one next week peace